faith, trusting that you walk with this family beyond this grief. You will hold them, Lord, with your right hand, that they will be stronger and better in the days ahead. Though they are suffering a deficit, it will be just for a little while. You be with them and strengthen them. Look at the father and the mother of Natasha and the pain that they are in. Look at the brothers and the, the heart that they are going through. Look at the glad mothers, the glad fathers, the aunties, the uncles, all members of the family. Look at the tears that they are shedding. Oh Lord, for a little while, they may not see you. But in a little while, you overwhelm them. You cover them with your grace. You cover them with your provisions. Their future will be good. Even as we release Natasha to rest, because her time is over, it may maybe have been a short life, but Lord, that is how you planned it. And you're going to make this family well. They will be fine in you. You're going to take care of them because that is what your word has reminded us, that your son on the cross said he felt forsaken. Then he committed his spirit to you. And we know that on the that day, he rose from the dead. And that he sits on your right heart in full authority. And he'll come to judge the living and the dead with full authority. Therefore, you had not forsaken him. You had great designs for humanity through him. You have not forsaken this family. Let them believe in you and trust with you. Trust you. And their future will be bright. Lord, wipe their tears, the tears in their hearts, the tears on their cheeks, even as they mourn, remind them that you are still their friend. You are still their comforter. Comfort, comfort my people. May you partake from God, members of the family. May you partake consolation. May you partake comfort. May you partake hope now and in the days ahead. We surrender you to God who is able and willing to walk with you. This is our prayer for each one of you.